the temple was under construction at the time of Jesus. It was a 40-year construction project. Now, those have been around the construction projects here in Seattle, particularly our own church, for example, probably it's easier to believe that. Uh, but this was a 40-year construction project, and it was not, not yet done. But it was a beautiful, it was one of the seven wonders of the world, gold-laden, in just incredible place uh, that was the glory of Israel and was the political power of an Idumean king who, uh, who Rome allowed to be a Jewish over the Jewish people in their place. And uh, though he was brutal and uh, was certainly not loved by his people, they appreciated a number of things he'd protected, the temple being one of them. It, it is politically and socially and culturally uh, a scandal uh, that the story of the woman who came to the temple with only her two, whatever they were, <laughs> two pennies, shall we say, with, with nearly nothing, uh, that Jesus said that she shall be heard of wherever my gospel is spoken of. And she comes in and she, she gives her best, and it's nothing. You can imagine the snarl that had happened uh, by the priest who was exchanging let's say her four pieces uh, of Roman coin, which had to be changed for, in order for it to be sacred to temple uh, monies, and that at a significant interest rate. And so now she walks away instead of four, she has only two. Um, she would go into the place where women could be, which in Israel, the incredible thing is, uh, women actually could go into the heart of the faith. It was, it, was, it was a radical change from any other faith tradition of the time. Also lepers, they had a corner uh, of the faith for themselves. But she would go in and they, she would throw these two, two pennies, if you will, into these what were called trumpets. And they were, they were just like this cuff. They were the, the top, they were wide, and then they went narrowed down, and then they opened to a vast area below. So that the money that the Levites and the priests and the rich and wealthy would give, the privilege that the culture would give, would, would make a tremendous sound as it would clang the down through what was called the trumpet. Because it is the heart of the gospel that those who have least are the closest to God. 